It's Senny and Finn's Games and Grabs Podcast. Now sponsored by Gamerborn Clothing. Go to gamerborn.co.uk and use code DDGAMING for 10% off your next order. What's happening guys? Welcome to episode 67 of the Games and Grabs Podcast. I'm Sunny, and with me as always is Finn Steele. Hello. How you doing Finn? I'm good thank you. How are you? I'm under the weather. For oh, the first dear. time this year on a podcast, I'm <laughs> under the weather. Oh, that's, that's happened eventually. Yeah, it did, didn't it? It's like a recurring theme last year, but now <laughs> it's, uh, it strikes again, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm severely under the weather. Oh, dear. Um, as soon as we finish recording this, my ass is going to sleep. <laughs> Good idea. That's what's going to happen here, man, because I am knackered. Good plan. Yeah, man. How did you do a tough week. Yeah, how did you do um Football, eleven side football guy last week. By the way, um, it was tough. It was tough because I haven't played sort of outdoors for a long time. But <laughs> me either. I haven't played outdoors either. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I came out of it pretty much unscathed. Cool. I got a nice graze down my leg for which was like grass burn. Oh yeah. We played on uh, like a four G pitch. I know what that means. I think it means it has better signal. Ah. Uh. Oh <laughs> yeah, but no. yeah, that's what I must be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got the four G. Um, but I've got a nice, uh, I've got a nice graze down my leg. But other than that, you know, I came out pretty much injury free. But this week, like, I've not been doing much of anything, and not only is my back feel completely knackered, like an old man, <laughs> um, my body feels completely drained of any sort of energy. So uh, yeah, I'm not having a good week. But good. football, football was good, and we won as well. Okay, well done. Congrats. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't feel like I contributed an awful lot, but we won. We won 4-2. <laughs> I'll, kick, I'll kick the ball one time. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I, did, I kicked the ball a couple of times. It was okay. Nice. Yeah. I'm not quite going for millions and millions of pounds in the transfer market, so... <laughs> no, one day. Probably not. No, I'm too old. <laughs> too old and broken. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll stick to doing this. It's just it's a lot more it's a lot easier on the body. It is true, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it really, really is. Uh Finn. Hello. What have you been playing this week? I've been playing quite a lot actually. Um I platinum crash bandicoot, finally. And it's clap time. Yay, woo! Uh, that's a tough, that's a tough one, man. That is a tough, tough one. Very tough. And as soon as I platinum it, they add an extra level to it, which is just as hard. If not harder than the hardest levels. And uh yeah, more trophies. So, mm. oh, they've added trophies for that level as well, have they? Yeah, yeah. It's one for oh, me. Okay, that's good. One, that's good. one for being it, and one for being it in a time trial. So that's gonna be fun. Mm. <laughs> now, can we can we expect a stream of this? Yeah, sure, probably. It would take me like five hours to be it, but it'd be a nice long stream. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> man, that was a tense stream you did last Saturday. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, wasn't it? I'm sitting there watching it. I was like, man, my anxiety cannot take this. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, I've been playing it myself as well, and I just I'm stuck. I'm on I'm on the high road. Oh yeah, that's the man. Got it. Get get stuck. Fuck that level. Yeah, it's rough. Like when you get to that second island, right? I was cruising through the levels. I was thinking this is much easier than the first island. <laughs> and then I got to the high road, and yeah, my my life pretty much ended. To be <laughs> just, yeah, there's yeah. no there's no another level way after it as well, which is quite difficult as well. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's quite as bad, but yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty rough. Yeah, it took me long enough to beat the bridge one that was before that. I oh, forgot yeah. what it's called. Road to Nowhere. That's the one. Uh, it took me ages, it took me long enough to to beat that one. I kept dying right before the end, and that was pissing me off. Um, <laughs> I didn't realise, obviously, it was right near the end until I got to the end, and I was like, I was literally two jumps away from this. Oh, yeah. That, oh, that God, between like, and it. the time trial, so I kept like, seeing the end, and then just falling to my death. And it's like, no, I'm so close. I mean, the, the devs have confirmed that it, it is indeed more difficult than the original. Yeah, yeah no shit. Yeah, no <laughs> so shit indeed. Shocking. Good God. <laughs> but it is a good okay. game, and I look forward to playing oh, two yeah. and three. Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it. I'm, I want to get through one so I can play two, because that's the one I've got the fondest memories of. Yeah, same. But OCD will not allow me to jump straight to two. I need to play through one first. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same. I can't, I can't leave it unfinished. <laughs> I look forward to 2018 rolling around and I still haven't beaten Crash Bandicoot 1. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. I um, also played some uh, Splatoon 2 briefly, which I got a day before, a uh, day early rather. And uh, it's good. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. You enjoying it? Yeah, I do. It's, I'm still getting used to it. I'm still, I didn't play the first one, so it's still all still new to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but while I streamed that at some point, it is very cool. It's very unique. Uh, I like the fact that it's not all about killing. It's just uh, like got to paint the, as much of the floor as possible. 
It's cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I played the original um, Testifier beta that they brought out. Oh, yeah. uh, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. It was just so different and unique and very Nintendo. It is very Nintendo. But, um, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. I'm glad that it's reviewing well. Yeah. I mean, Nintendo original games, or exclusive games, I should say, do tend to review very well. Oh, yeah. They, they know what they're doing, don't they? Most of the time. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, for the most part. Yeah. Sometimes they make very strange decisions, but as far as games are concerned, um, they, they really do knock it out of the park, oh, yeah. usually. Absolutely. It looks great, too. Like, just a great art style and everything. Animation's super good. I love it. See, um, I know you weren't keen on uh, ARMS, or at least what you played a bit. <laughs> yeah, it just wasn't my type of thing, really. But that reviewed very well also. It did, yeah. Just not, yeah. One, just not my type of game, really. That's fair enough, yeah. Um, what else do I play? Played the Super Hot VR in PS4, uh, which is excellent. Okay. Was that enjoying it? Oh, yes, absolutely. It's so cool. Uh, just, just, just the whole mechanics of it, like the time and the movement you do. It's like being able to grab the gun out midair and turn around and shoot the guy. It's very cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've uh, I've played Super Hot. I've not played Super Hot in VR. Uh, it's something I will do at some point, but um, okay. it's a very cool game anyway. Absolutely. And I'm, I mean, Gaming Mule always sort of was saying that uh, the Super Hot was excellent in VR, and uh, it's cool that you and Viz are sort of confirming that as well, despite a few sort of janky issues. Uh, yeah, there was a technical but, issue when, it, it, when you get out of the first like tutorial level, it puts you into like the like hub, I guess, like the main 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 menu hub. But I, for some reason, it spawned me like way behind it. And so I was like, I could see through the wall behind me. I was like, what, where am I? How do I get to it? I couldn't reach the computer I was supposed to get to. But I, I turned, okay. it off, turned it off and turned it back on again. It was fine. So, uh, ah, those classic IT absolutely. Uh, solution there. Yeah, fair enough. Have you tried turning it <laughs> off on again? Yeah. But yeah, that, that fixed yeah. it and it was all fine after that. Um, cool. Yeah, cool game. Um, well, I played this on the two as well. Yay. I did oh, it. Oh, yay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like it. I still like it. It's all good. Um, yeah, I'm going in full stealth. Um, I am still playing on easy because it's a difficult game. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah I, like I mean, it. the first one's tough as well. Yeah, yeah. I like it a lot. And I'm going to I'm gonna, uh, play through it full stealth and then probably go through it again. Just uh, kidding as many people as I can. Trying to get the platinum. <laughs> All about those platinum trophies, baby. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I need to get back onto Persona, Persona 5. I mean, it's been set. But, uh, I need to get back on that as well. I loved it as well. Because after I beat that first boss, I just put it down and didn't play it again. <laughs> and uh, I really love it as well. I need to get back on it. I need to get back onto that. It's so good. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's about all played. How about you? I've been playing a few different things. Um, all of us played the Destiny 2 beta. Oh, yes, we did. Uh, this past Tuesday. Yes. It's cool. And I enjoyed it. I thought it was good, you know? I mean, I love Destiny anyway, as uh, people will know from listening to this podcast. But, I mean, it's, and it is more of the same. Yeah. Very little has changed in the way of the core mechanics and the core gameplay aspects. They haven't really changed, but I think from a, a scope perspective, hmm. I think it's far bigger. I think it's a, a far grander looking game. Yeah. I do so wish... What's going on? Sorry, I do wish they'd increase the fire team size from three to four. Uh, yes, yeah. me too. It seems like something they could have done, but didn't bother. I don't know. Weird. I mean, I'm with you on that. I mean, they they said they, they haven't done it because the game balances out perfectly with a three-man fire team. And mm. to a degree, yes, I agree with that. But, you know, that level uh, where it does, in the beta, where it does actually put you with other humans, oh, yeah. there's a lot going on there. And you could probably do with four people. Oh, yeah. I mean, the that- strikes are tougher as well. Yeah, so Dodge Truck is actually cool, the one they had on the, on, the on the beta. Yeah, that's cool. Look forward, look forward to all of those. Um, hopefully we'll have enough people to, to act heavy on Daydreamers so we can do like raids and stuff as well. That'd be cool. Yes, that'd be really, really cool. Um, all in all, I think it's great. I'm really, really looking forward to it. It looks it looks great. The lighting is brilliant. Mm. Um, the, the, the hooks are there again. The same hooks that were there <laughs> before are back. Yeah. And that's what's got you. Gearing up and leveling up is what the game is all about. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and we also entered the Crucible as well, didn't we? And we, we did okay there. We did. The first game, don't watch that one. Um, don't watch that, yeah. Don't watch <laughs> us get pummeled in the first game. Yeah, at least you didn't get a single kill, I don't think. Maybe one of us got one kill, but that's about it. <laughs> but, we, we were terrible, basically. Yeah. But after that, we got used to it and like it was better. Yeah, we started using this thing called Teamwork. Yeah, yeah. Something uh, I to break out every now and then. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a strange thing, really. Strange thing that uh, we don't really have on Daydreamer. Yeah, but we, we, we discovered it, and amazingly, it works. So, yeah. 
Who Teamwork do? for the win. Absolutely. Teamwork makes the dream work. Good. Turns out. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah. Destiny 2 is really cool. Look forward to the full release of that in um, probably two months, I think it comes out. Oh, Christ. Soon. So many games coming yeah. out soon. Uh, I know, it's I crazy. I can't handle it. Uh, I've been playing the Pro Evolution Soccer 2018 mm. online beta that they've released. More betas, nice. Yeah, uh, beta week this week, crazy. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's excellent. Um, I'm sort of wondering how you could improve on such a great game from 2017. I mean, we reviewed it and we reviewed it well. Mm. Uh, we, I think we gave it four and a half out of five. Yeah. Um, and this is it's great. Again, they've, they have improved on it. They've slowed it down and, I don't know, they've just made it better i can't even put my finger on what makes it better it just is it's more good yeah it's more good more good basically but but, (laughs) um i've been enjoying it it's online only um i've I've only been sort of doing 1v1 uh online uh there is a 3v3 mode as well which partners you up with two other human people against three other human people uh, which is a very cool idea i've not been able to get into a game yet uh, I'm not oh. sure if there's just not many people playing that mode because I don't seem to have any issues getting into a 1v1 game. Hmm. Uh, but it's it's really great. I'm so excited for the full release. Um, I think hopefully we'll get to review this one as well. And um, I don't expect it to come out with anything less than what it got last time. So I'm very, very excited about that. Cool. Um, been playing a bit of Grand Theft Auto 5. I've been uh, sort of getting back into that. Very cool. And it is awesome. I always forget how great that game is. <laughs> it's so good, and it's great at everything as well. Like the shooting is great. The like the fist fighting is is great. <laughs> like the driving is uh, pretty much perfect. Yeah. I, mean, I uh, me and Denzel always use um, GTA uh, as like a benchmark for driving oh, yeah. games, uh, and or driving in games, should I say? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I I'm. So impressed with Grand Theft Auto Five. It's just, it's probably one of the best games ever made. Uh, yeah, probably. Rockstar knocking it out of the park every time, every uh, single time. Yeah, yeah. We have to do stream that online at some point because I know the most of us have it. I didn't realize so many of us had it. In yeah. truth, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that that'd be a really really good one to play. But um, yeah, so I've been been playing that. I've been playing some Tekken. Tekken's cool. Awesome. Still working towards that platinum. I finished the story mode. I've got the character chapters to do, which I haven't done yet. Oh, yeah. Literally just one fight each. It's super, super quick. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, I haven't beat Akuma yet uh, yeah. at the end. You know, that special chapter that unlocks. Yeah, yeah. Done the story. Because he's fucking hard and it's not fair because he <laughs> can, like, float through you, which is weird. It's true. Um, but you know what? I've, I've heard people sort of badmouth the story and stuff like that, but... But I actually quite enjoyed it. I thought it was, I thought some of the the sequences were very very cool. Yeah, I liked it. I thought it was cool. Like I go back in time as well. It's like it's a bit from Tekken Four, I think. And it's like yeah. oh, this is how that happened. It's like oh, I'm getting to play a bit from the cutscene. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, which I think is pretty cool. And it, what I also like is how it keeps the original cutscenes for the flashbacks. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Uh, but I liked it. I liked the story mode. The only thing that bothered me was the boring narration. But I think <laughs> yeah. I touched on that a couple of weeks back. Yeah, exactly. it, and it, it is boring, but. And I don't really know who that guy is. I don't care. Either. Yeah, he's just some generic cop guy. Oh, and he looks like the most it. generically <laughs> created character of all time as well. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's uh, just like custom character one as soon as you load the creation suite or something like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah <I'll> <laughs> it's, it's a great game. It's Tekken. It plays like Tekken has done for 20 years. Yep. It's Tekken. Uh, that's <laughs> not a bad thing. Absolutely. And uh, I've also been playing a bit more Injustice as well. I'm trying to get uh, trying to get into that a bit more, but it's uh, it's awesome. Nice. So yeah, I've been, I've been playing quite a lot actually. I've had a busy a busy gaming week. But I've had a lot of time on my hands because I've not been very well. So yeah, uh, I've just been sort of literally creating a dent in my sofa <laughs> by lying down on it and uh, playing my PS4 basically. Awesome. Good stuff. Right, we've got a we've got a bit of gaming news this week. Nothing too massive. Uh, yeah, a bit a few bits and pieces. Yeah, let's start with uh, Telltale. Yeah. So Telltale announced three series, mm-hmm. three returning series. Noise. Uh, one of them, the d- just the day before the announcement, they actually said wasn't coming back. Really? <laughs> the day after, all of a sudden, it's, like, it's, it's back again. It's like, it's back. Yeah. <laughs> so um, The Wolf Among Us is getting a second series finally. Excellent. That's probably my favourite Telltale game, I think. Yeah, it's what 
that. easily one of the most beloved. It's based on the Fables comic book series, and you follow you play the character as uh, Bigby Wolf, or the Big Bad Wolf, as yeah. he would be casually known as. And it's such a unique take on the the sort of the fairy tales that you knew and loved as a small child, basically. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, throws them into this very dark and twisted world. And it's very, very cool. If you haven't played The Wolf Among Us, I, I highly recommend it because it is very, very good. Yes, me too. And I'm so happy it's getting a second series. It deserves it. Absolutely. Apparently, they're not going to revisit the twist at the end, though, apparently. I can't even remember what that was. I long. can't either. <laughs> I just thought it was cool to say. Yeah. I only played through it recently as well. Yeah. Uh, but it was good, anyway. Uh, I'm glad that's coming back. The Walking Dead is getting its fourth and final season. That's nice. coming next year as well. Cool. Still need to play through the third one. Yeah, I still need to play through the second one. <laughs> yeah. Um, you get to play as Clementine in the final season. Uh, yeah, you did in the third one as well, I think. Nope. Do you know? Nope. Oh. You play as some bloke. Some bloke, cool. Clementine is there, but you don't play as Clem. All right, okay. What do I know? Nothing, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Batman is also getting a second season <laughs> which starts next month wow nice <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> out of nowhere they were like, they were like yeah Batman season 2 starts August 7th like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait August this? the 7th what next year this August <laughs> but, as in like three weeks away wow. but apparently so yeah so Batman season 2 uh, from Telltale Games starts in three weeks awesome and there's a trailer for it and it looks like it shows uh, the Riddler is going to be one of the uh, bad guys in the story and obviously the Joker from the first one as well so nice. I'm excited for that one I love that I've just started playing through the first one uh, for a second time this time on PS4 because I played through it on Xbox One and I loved it but I wanted to play through as a different type of Batman Yeah. in my PS4 playthrough so I'm playing through as a more angry Burr, um, I'm angry angry Batman. Batman angry Batman yeah yeah <laughs> beat you up and things. Um, <laughs> that's good. So yeah, that's really, really cool. Um, uh, that was a good Batman impression, right? It was perfect, yeah. It's fun. Uh, after, when, I, when Ben Affleck retires, I think they're actually going to ask me to do it. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I can't see why they wouldn't yeah, after that. Exactly. Just, just, yeah. send, just, send, just send that clip to him. It's like, look, I can be Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd be the, the shortest, fattest Batman anyone's ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah. Telltale, loads of stuff coming out. They need to fix their broken engine. I'm guessing they won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Atari are bringing a new console out. Yeah, weird one. I heard about this today when you told me about it. <laughs> yeah, literally 20 minutes ago. Yeah. It's called the Atari Box. Interesting. Good which name. is a crap name. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, you know, Xbox. Yeah, Atari Box. So. A it box. looks like a Virgin Media box. <laughs> and apparently it's going to play old games and it's going to have current gaming content as well. Hmm. Now, what that means is anybody's guess. That means you could be playing... Mobile games all day. Exactly that, yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. I mean, you're going to be playing... Uh, first mobile game that comes to my head, Candy Crush or something like that. <laughs> yeah, probably. I doubt very highly it means Call of Duty. Yeah, it's a tiny thing as well, isn't it? Apparently so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, I think they're just going for like the NES Mini kind of thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't have high hopes for this. It's no. come out of nowhere, completely out of left field. So I, just because it has the name Atari attached to it, um, it will attra- it will attract a certain type of fan. Yeah, but I'm yeah. not it, one of them. No, same. It's not going to like blow people away on this. I don't think. I think it'll probably appear. People will see what it is <laughs> and then people will give up on it straight away. Like totally. that. What's that console called? Ouya? Ouya? The Ouya, like the Ouya, yeah. The Ouya. What happened to that? Um, It was shit and we bought it. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> um, that's exactly what I expect for the Atari box. Uh, yeah, it's literally just like mobile games you can play on your TV. It's like, oh, why would we want that? We already have a PS4 and then we really bought it. <laughs> yeah. Very, very strange and seemingly very pointless. So, Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Uh, what have you got for us? Um, well, there's a new Kingdom Hearts trailer got dropped um, and it shows off the new world of uh, Toy Story. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. At first I was like, oh, Toy Story? No, I guess that's cool. But then I saw like the trailer itself. And it's like the graphics are just like, it looks like the movie. It's, it's insane. Yeah, it looks like Toy Story. It's crazy. Yeah, and so is new game gameplay as well. It looks great. It's so, so it good. does look great. I need to play the first two. Yes, you do. <laughs> you, uh, you get them on PS4. and play. I have them. Oh, yeah, you do, don't you? Play them. Yeah. What are you doing? I just, I, I know, I know. <laughs> It's just, again, it's finding time to play all these yeah, fucking games. That's true, I understand it. <laughs> but no, I, yeah. love, I, love Kid, I love Kid Master. It's one of my favourite games growing up. So, uh, yeah. I'm very excited for Kid Master 3 when it comes out cool. in 2020 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, 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 if it ever comes out. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I'm just flicking through the gaming news here. Uh, Nintendo trademark filing gives hope for the Nintendo 64 Classic. Ooh. I don't doubt that this is probably going to happen because, you know, obviously they've got the SNES Classic coming out. And they've already had the NES Classic, which had the weirdest launch and had about lifespan of anything ever. Yeah, they made about five of them. Yeah, <laughs> they all sold out and then discontinued it. It's like, oh, this is strange. Great, thanks. Why yeah. discontinue something that's really, really popular? Yeah, very weird. Because Nintendo, that's why. But yeah, because Nintendo. <laughs> it's yeah. very Nintendo thing to do. So I imagine that will happen. It will probably include Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, Diddy Kong Racing, those types of things. Yeah, you won't get was. WrestleMania 2000. You won't get No Mercy. You won't get WCW Revenge. You won't get GoldenEye. Yeah, um, probably not. You probably get Banjo Kazooie, but yeah, mm. well, no, probably not. Cause it's owned by uh, Microsoft now, isn't it? Oh, of course it is. Yeah, cause it's on the uh, rare collection, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that Diddy Kong Racing was rare. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I thought it was just a Nintendo game. Yeah, no, probably not. And here's another th- weird thing. <laughs> and I don't even understand what Final Fantasy 15 is anymore. <laughs> Final Fantasy 15's Power Rangers like outfits launch soon and make you invincible. Okay. What? It's just new to me. <laughs> what does that even mean? I know it's just going to be some like easy mode, I guess, with some silly costumes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm reading here. This is from GameSpot. Final Fantasy XV has no shortage of bizarre DLC items, from the infamous Nissin Cup noodle hat to an Afrojack-inspired sword. Mm-hmm. The game's July update will bring yet another. Power Rangers-like combat suits for Noctis and his entourage. <laughs> nice. The Magitech exosuits will be added there, added later this month as a free update. It's a truth. Donning the suits makes you makes your party invincible for 30 minutes. However, the suits can only be used once every 24 hours. And there's a there's a picture here, red, black, blue, and yellow suits. <laughs> nice. They just look like Power Rangers. Don't yeah. That. It's just how terribly bizarre. Very oh, strange. I'm going to Gamespot now and see if we can find it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just so weird. I don't understand. I mean, you finished that game, right? I did. Yeah, great. I how was it. was it great? Was it? I don't know. I mean, yeah, really good. I mean, I loved it. Um, I see. I'm looking there now. Yeah. Um, yep. That looked, that looked weird. <laughs> <laughs> but I, yeah, I, I, it's, I just, don't get it yeah it's just one of the things just adding it's not like any story based or anything like that it's like it, it's gonna be fun and quirky let's, let's throw that in why not sure yeah I mean, yeah it's, it's cool to me and apparently <laughs> Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies mode has officially been revealed uh, yeah I saw that Meh. to the shock of nobody <laughs> yeah because Zombies is super popular now yeah this, and I still don't care <laughs> yeah I never play the Zombies I suck at it I, yeah. I, I mean I play I play Free for all and team deathmatch. I don't even play through the campaign anymore. I just, I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the most pointless Call of Duty player of all time. This <laughs> is uh, another PlayStation Plus freebie now available. I think this is Orcs Must Die. Oh yeah, I think if you downloaded it, you get like three DLC or something. Right. Okay. Me. That pretty much wraps it up for uh, for gaming news this week. Pretty much. Lots, lots of lots of stuff. Lots of mostly me. Yeah, me. a lot of little tidbits, but nothing that sort of like. Oh my god, this is groundbreaking news. Yeah. Literally nothing like that. Pretty much. Oh, um, in other news, I, I, I've i procured a PlayStation 2 that I'm looking at right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Martin Dixon has kindly sent me uh, some wrestling games. Nice. Wrestling. Wrestling. So, uh, thanks for that, Martin. I appreciate that, pal. Nice one. What um, games do you get? I've got Legends of Wrestling 2. Nice. Which is janky as fuck, but <laughs> has a huge roster of wrestlers on it. It's crazy. Awesome. Um, SmackDown 4, which is Shut Your Mouth, I believe. Oh, yeah. SmackDown 3, Ooh. with the great commentary from Taz on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Here Comes the Pain, which is just quite simply remarkable. Yep. One of the best wrestling games ever. I think that's it. That's so five, five games. Cool. Nice. So that's awesome. I'll tell you what I did pick up. Super cheap. Oh, yeah. 
uh, Outrun 2006. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a game. And it's got one of the best soundtracks of all time. Very cool. And also The Getaway. I bought that for 50p. Bargain. <laughs> yeah. I love like picking up old games. And even yeah. if I'm never going to play them, like, The Getaway is worth 50p. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Because it's awesome. Yeah, it is. And from what I remember, really fucking hard. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've beat it growing up. I, mean, I remember it was the first game I saw boobs in. I was like, oh, hey, boobs in a game. Well, <laughs> that's, 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 that's the main thing that stuck out to me as playing that as a kid. I, was like, oh, boobs. I, uh, I love that that's <laughs> your takeaway from the getaway. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you- boobs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, there's a wrestling pay per view this weekend because, of course, there is. There seems to be one all the time now. Yep. Uh, this week it's Battleground, which is a SmackDown exclusive pay per view. It is. Uh, let's talk about SmackDown and let's talk about Battleground and let's give our predictions on it. Um, I think I predicted last week that this week's main event on Raw mm-hmm. would wouldn't end. Oh yeah, and nobody would win. And hey, and that was exactly what happened. So yep, I'm guessing Fatal Four Way at. SummerSlam. I wrote the same thing, yeah. So Samoa Joe versus a uh, Samoan named Joe, aka Roman Reigns. Um, winner, winner faces, <laughs> winner faces Brock at SummerSlam. Uh, it was a really good match actually. And then out of nowhere, Roar. Roar. Uh, he's back. No cuts, no scars, nothing. Perfectly fine. Just a bandage on his arm. <laughs> <laughs> because kind of, of course, because of course. Um, yeah. Attacks both guys. Um, they do, uh, Joe locks in the cookie clutch. They do try and fight back, but Braun overpowers them. Hits multiple power slams. And looks pretty damn strong. Um, so yeah, Fatal 4-Way will be. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that was almost the only noteworthy thing to take from Raw this week. Well, there was one other thing. A cool. whole uh, Kurt Angle mystery has been solved. Oh, of course. You know what? I, <laughs> I tried to erase it from my memory. Yeah. It's, it's now freshly back in there. Yeah, as it turns out, um, many, many years ago, uh, Kurt Angle had relations with a woman. Um and uh, she bore a son, uh, not un- unbeknownst to him. And that son just so happened to be a wrestler. And they just so happened to be in WWE at the same mm. time as Kurt. Yeah, well, it's, it's weird. It's a weird coincidence. <laughs> yeah, I, weird, very weird. These things happen. Life's weird. Who knows, you know. Yeah, and other uh, people. Uh, Jason Jordan from, um, from American Alpha. The other one oh, from American yeah. Alpha. Um, yeah. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> okay, what do you <laughs> think to this? What do you think? I mean, what was your initial thoughts when it happened? Because I know you sent me, <laughs> you sent you sent me a WhatsApp message with just the words Jason Jordan and the the eyes rolling emoji, <laughs> yeah, which just sums it up pretty much. Just just, just like I thought at first, I thought it was going to be Corey Graves when the first thought I'm talking about it. I was like, no, okay, he's talking about I'll be like being a proper wrestler, like an amateur wrestler. Then I was like, okay, it's going to be going to be Chad Gable, and then uh, it was Jason Jordan. I was like, okay, hmm. I mean, I'm willing to give it a chance because Kurt Angle's great. And, you know, he's, he's proven he can show and turn silly gimmicks into hilarious, funny stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if this is the right way to get Jason Jordan uh, introduced to the main, like, I don't know, the main event kind of thing. It's weird. <laughs> I'm I'm really not sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, he... my initial thought was poor Jason Jordan. Yeah. Because where does he go from here? This is just dragged into this weird gimmick there. Does it turn around and eventually it's all not true and they have Jason Jordan versus Kurt Angle? Maybe. Or is it just something that's going to be around forever and Kurt Angle's forever going to be Jason Jordan's dad? <laughs> is he going to call him dad on TV? Is I just don't I don't get it. They did do like a weird interview thing afterwards which I didn't actually watch because I heard it was quite boring. Um, <laughs> but it's like... <laughs> It's saying like I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a dad to you, Jason Jordan, and Jason was like smiling at him like yeah oh, yeah he's dad, and it's just like super awkward and weird. Um, the problem I've got here, right, is Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle has actual children. <laughs> he's like six of them, yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> he's got gorgeous daughters with his gorgeous wife. Yep. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> and what does his wife think about this? <laughs> Who knows? Bring her in there. Let's get let's get it in there. Let's let's have a Jerry Springer type <laughs> moment. In fact, no, don't because yeah, they'll actually so. drag Jerry Springer into this because <laughs> oh, for some reason they have him have stuff to do with WWE and I don't get it. But yeah. this is just it's just WWE must think fans are fucking stupid. Now I know it's a TV show and it's a production and all that sort of stuff, but stuff like this is is a bit soap opera and shit, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's it's very strange. I mean, in this day and age as well, with like the reality era, quote unquote, um, it's it's very odd. But I'm willing to give it a chance. I'll give it a few weeks, and then before I poop it completely, poop it users. But you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, I would like it if sort of Jason Jordan started getting opportunities because of this. Yeah, I'd like to see him. He's a good like talent at wrestling, all that. I'd like to see him like in the main event picture or doing something. Because of all this, I think I'm honestly more excited to see where Chad Gable goes because of this. Yeah, yeah, Chad Gable definitely stand out in the out the out the. Well, I team. think so, and I've always thought that, but and because it seems like focus has been on Chad Gable these last few weeks on SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, like, great match and his against... solo stuff. I think we spoke about this last week. Yeah, yeah, but um, now that American Alpha has. Broken up officially, I guess. Yeah, it's a shame they never got like a proper tag team run on the main yeah, event. I mean, they won the belts, but it was wasn't exactly a special mo- or memorable run. No, it was like a few weeks and then didn't want to back on it. Remember it was. Yeah, I think they'll probably be more over as singles competitors for sure. Probably, but they're gonna have to make Jason Jordan look very strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. He's got angle yeah. He's got it. That's true. Yeah. I think he's going to start using the angle slam and the ankle lock and stuff. I Maybe. think it's a given, right? I think he's got a, yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Oh, just like his dad and all that, you know, that them sort of comms. Yeah, yeah. So weird. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I don't hate it, but I'm not sold on it. Yeah, same here. Um, yeah, strange. Anyway, so there was two <laughs> newsworthy <laughs> things on Raw. That and uh, the fact that it's probably going to be a fatal four-way at SummerSlam for the... Universal Championship. Probably. Um, Read well. some interesting uh, Brock Lesnar news, actually. I don't know if you saw this. Oh, yeah. But apparently he's allowed back into the, uh, the is it USDA doping pool? Oh. Um, and apparently he's wanting to go back into UFC again and mm. isn't going to re-sign with WWE when his contract is up. And, hey, I hope this is true. Uh, yeah. I love, I love Brock now. It's yeah, me too. I'm done. I'm done with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was the, done with Brock ages ago, but I'm even more done with him now. Yeah, same. The hype, the hype is done for me. So, I mean, I need a champion that's going to be on there every single week. Yeah, for sure. And I would love for Joe to win the championship at SummerSlam. That'd be awesome. But all signs just seem to point to Braun Strowman winning it, right? Um, yeah, it means to be made to look really strong. But then maybe they'll have like the conquering hero overpower Braun Strowman and win the championship, which will be Roman Reigns. Uh, but I don't know. It, uh, I think it, could, maybe it could be cool. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All right, let's move on to SmackDown because uh, SmackDown's pay-per-view that we've got this coming Sunday. Uh, I don't think Raw have got anything going on until SummerSlam now, so uh, yep. uh, we've not really got to worry too much about that for now. Yeah. Uh, all we know is that Kurt Angle's got a black son and we don't <laughs> know who the mum is. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, this SmackDown. Um, nothing super interesting happened on SmackDown, I don't think. Uh, Michael Nenis had his first match against Sami Zayn, which he won cheaply. Uh, basically, Maria jumped in front of Mike, said, no, no, don't hurt him, don't hurt him. And then Mike just, like, punched him in the face, balled him up and won. Um, which is weird. Yeah, okay. I mean, I knew that Maria was going to be the focal point of this couple. Yeah. Uh, I knew that was coming, and they need to do stuff that has both of them involved at the minute. Uh, I'm not mad at this. I think it's fine. Yeah, they've got a rematch at Battleground, so I'm sure that would be better. I think it will be, yeah. Uh, probably on the pre-show, right? I haven't surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> that no, no, it's fine. I mean, I like Maria. I, I like Mike, and he's going to pick up wins. Uh, for some reason, everyone's wins are always at the expense of Sammy, which sucks, but, mm-hmm. it, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with it for now. Yeah. It's I'm cool. In, just intrigued to see where it goes and see where Mike Bennett slash Canellis goes from this feud. Yeah, me too. And uh, Sammy as well, because I don't want Sammy to keep being yeah. the bait for these new people. Yeah, seriously. Or the bait just to get people over. Yeah. I mean, Sammy's so talented and and he seems like a genuinely very nice person. Yeah. And I'm sure he doesn't have a problem with it. But I do have a problem with it. He's <laughs> not fucking doing it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, poor Sammy. Um, yep. There was, there was also a very funny uh, Fashion Files segment, as it was are. Uh, the, the Fashion the fashion X Files. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I got YouTube, it's very funny. Um, but yeah, it's basically got a notes um, along with... Uh, Pandango's horse's 
head in a box uh, saying <laughs> battleground. <laughs> so Who do you think battle. it is? Um, I don't know. I can't see it being the attention again. Um, I mean, it can't know. be. No, I don't, don't even know who else it could be. Unless it's some new guys. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Unknown. I would, Unknown. I, would, I would have said American Alpha, but they've they're got to do their own thing. <laughs> the two Seemingly being so, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I I don't know. It just seems weird for them to bring a new tag team in just to, or introduce them in this way with a tag team like Brizango. Yeah. Weird one. It just seems it seems weird to me, at least. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who it could be. Um, I am sort of intrigued to find out who it is. <laughs> me too. <laughs> um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see where this goes. But uh, th- them guys are really funny. They've made a you know a real good go with this gimmick. Oh yeah, good stuff. And yeah, done that. And the main event was cool. It was um, something I didn't write when I was submitting. It was AJ Styles and someone versus Kevin Owens and someone else. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's yeah, they just asked since Kenakuma versus um, Baron Corbin and Kevin Owens. That was it, and uh, it was cool. Have you seen that <laughs> uh, they've started selling Shinsuke Nakamura jackets on WWE Shop? Oh, I haven't actually. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so you can buy like the red le- faux leather jacket that uh, Nakamura wears. <laughs> that's cool. Because you definitely uh, walk around in it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I would. Yeah, <laughs> just going going down the pub in uh, or going down going to the shop for some milk in my <laughs> yeah. Shinsuke Nakamura jacket. <laughs> Uh, funny. I think it's got. I wonder. I've not sort of looked into it too much. I wonder if it's got like the studs and stuff on it. Maybe <laughs> that'd be <laughs> that'd be cool. Yeah, <laughs> sort of. Not not the, not the way that you actually want to go outside with it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool to wear at home. Yeah, whilst watching wrestling or doing a podcast. <laughs> yeah, to have it hanging up <laughs> on the yes, <laughs> on the wall or something. <laughs> you couldn't imagine going out in it, could you? Not really. No. No. <laughs> So yeah, um, who's Nakamura feuding with at the minute? Uh, Baron Corbin. He's got a match. Uh, of so. course, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I'm with that. I th- I'm okay with it. Yeah, Baron, um, Baron Corbin attacked um, since game before the match as well, like on Jenny's entrance, and like they just started coming and helped, you know, like like a big brawl on on the uh, ramp before the match, which is cool. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I, I'm 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 fine with that feud. I mean, both of them could do with wins. We'll talk uh, about yeah. that anyway when we do our predictions. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, as a go-home show, how would you rate it? Um, it was okay. Nothing really major happened. I'll give it a uh, solid, solid B, like an average. Okay. I can't comment because I haven't seen it, simply because um, Sky Sports have changed all the channels around, which in turn fucked all of my recordings up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I've not managed to see much of anything this week. I've seen highlights on Twitter and stuff like that, but uh, yeah. read, read up on it. Did my research for the podcast, <laughs> but that was pretty much about it. So, I mean, the fact that you only had two items to talk about on SmackDown says to me that it wasn't a much of an anything show. Uh, yeah, pretty much. There's, there's Three some, items. Yeah. There's some bits here and there, but nothing, nothing super huge. Yeah. It's, uh, is it slipping again, do you think? Um, I, I don't mean, know. Maybe. Th- I mean, you've got the Cena versus Rusev thing, which I skipped because it's uh, uh, the same thing every time. Thing um, is, you don't want to hear about America all the time. Exactly. Yeah, right. I know it's an American America. wrestling show, but like, it's just like when when Cena does these promos, it's just too much. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it's like I love for this, I love this country, and I will live and die for this flag, and yeah, never people, give up. Uh, people go to war, and I thank you, and all this sort of stuff. It's like just fuck off. <laughs> like, we get it. We get it. America's great. Okay, thanks. Like, great. America loves America. That's fine. We, we understand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I don't like that Rusev is the one that's going to take the crap for this. Well, take the uh, take the fall for this. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I saw a funny tweet, uh, by the way, because uh, obviously Shane McMahon was involved in a helicopter crash. Uh, thankfully, he was okay. Yes. Um, and Rusev tweeted out, uh, you don't respond to my video messages, you crash, you get, you land in the ocean. <laughs> 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 nice. Um, did you see the interview that uh, the local news did with Shane McMahon? Uh, I didn't actually know. They were like, are you, are you Vince McMahon's son? And he was like, yes, I am. No. <laughs> oh, oh, and it, it, like the report was like, oh, okay. And my producer just told me to ask that. It's like, what? <laughs> Stupid. Why? Jesus Christ. Just in case he's a nobody, in which case it's not news. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. If he's if he's not anybody important, we're not going to report this. Uh, Even some manson out of curiosity. Yes, I am. Okay, this is news now. <laughs> yeah, now it's news. Yeah. You're, you're if it's any person. other grey-haired bloke, no one cares. But because <laughs> it's uh, you're Vince McMahon's son, okay, fine. We'll run with it. <laughs> America. <laughs> because America, yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, so Battleground is uh, 
this coming Sunday. Yes. Finn is going to be doing the Battlegrounds prediction show. Yes. Over at youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming. Yes. Uh, this coming Sunday. Finn, what time are you starting? Uh, probably about 8 o'clock. Is my standard starting time for these things? Yeah, there we go. Cool. I yeah. started about 9 last time and it went really well. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll start about 9. We'll see. We'll jump in it in time. Okay, cool. Um, but let's give our predictions, as we always do, right here on the Games and Grats podcast. Yeah. So, Finn, reel, yeah. reel down the card. Okay, so on the pre-show, we have a random match between Ty Dillinger and Aiden English. <sighs> Who have we got and what's the point? Well, who cares for a start? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is... What, what, what is this match? I don't know. It's just uh, they're two guys that left a slot on the cards. Like, we've got these two guys. Let's just put them together and do whatever. Yeah, people, people want Ty Dillinger, sort of, maybe. And this guy singing makes people sort of laugh. <laughs> yeah. Let's just put them together in a match and just... Just just so they don't moan at us. Okay. Yeah. I really mean, I think they missed the opportunity with Ty Dillinger. The 10, 10, 10 chance have faded now. It's like, they had the opportunity and they, and they blew it. You think it's, it's done? Shame. You think it's over? Uh, I think the ten chance for an hour over, uh, unless they can do, unless they push Tyler Andrew up the card a bit more and try and get up more, more give him more momentum. Um, yeah, it could be done for now. The problem with SmackDown is he's going to get completely lost in the shuffle because, mm. you know, I think we talked about this last week as well. But the the United States Championship scene is <laughs> too packed full of main eventers. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Got AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, since Nakamura was just hanging around there as well. Yeah, and it's like okay, and Cena. And Cena, yeah, yeah. So what t- chance, realistically, does Tim Donderlinger slash Ty <laughs> Dillinger even stand there? Yeah. It's in fact, there was, a, there was a backstage thing uh, on SmackDown as well. It's, it's like more mm. talking to Edgar Styles, saying, one of these days, you're going to do open challenges and I'm going to answer. And I was like, I don't want to see that match. Yeah. <laughs> like, where does Ty Dillinger fit into any of this? <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's so weird. And it's, it's weird. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great for the mid-card scene. Yeah, uh, for it but, to be so be so hot, but I, you know where where does that leave people like, um, like Ty t- Dillinger and I hate to say it, Mojo Rawley and people like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know where does it leave those guys? Uh, lost on the shovel. Yeah, unfortunately, yes. and uh, just become bit part players like Kurt Hawkins and Heath Slater and Rhino and people <laughs> yeah. like that. They just people don't give a fuck about, and it's just. Just, just how it is. Yeah, it's a shame. Um, Ty Dillinger wins his match, though, I think. Uh, yeah, same. Um, he's a good guy. They need a g- good guy win to kick off the show. So, yeah, Ty Dillinger. Yeah, I mean, I, I do like Aiden English, and I do like this yeah. character because it really does make me laugh. <laughs> yeah. Um, Busy people and, and I know it pisses people off. Yeah. And that also makes me happy. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I like both guys, but, you know, <laughs> Aiden English... I don't know how much of a future he has in WWE. Yeah, shame. Beyond the next batch of <laughs> releases, so <laughs> uh, I'd go for Ty Dillinger. Yeah, same here. Hey, um, it's cool that these got. It's cool that Aiden English is even having a singles match on anywhere near the pay per view. Yeah, that's true. At least, at least against London. True. Do they still have like superstars and stuff like that? Main event. Does that still happen, or are they they gone now? I don't know. I haven't seen him for a long, long time. Because they were on the network, weren't they? But I don't know if there's it's still a thing or not. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Um, in ring shows. Uh, 205 Live, obviously, which is still not doing well, sadly. No. Uh, this Have week you in, in WWE, whatever that is. Uh, that's just like a weekly recap show. Uh, oh, main event, I think, is still a thing. Main event main replays. Event. Okay. Oh, replays. Oh, okay. So that's probably not anything. Oh. Who's watching main event replays? Yeah, seriously. It's cancelled for a reason if it's cancelled. Yeah. Oh, no, it's got the revival on there, so it must be a new one. Hmm. Okay. And the Bible Battle Gallows and Anderson and Tag Team Showdown. So why isn't okay. that on why that on Raw? I want to see that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> why isn't that on Raw? There's three hours of Raw. What are you filling it with? Uh, God, uh, okay, so main event apparently is still a thing. Yeah. 205 Live might not be for much longer. Uh, it's a shame. Have you noticed that they've started... Uh, I know we're sort of going off topic here, but have you, have you sort of noticed that there was no purple ropes on, on Raw this week? Oh, we didn't actually, no. Yeah, uh, apparently like they're cost-cutting, so no <laughs> pyro anymore. Oh, really? So, I mean, I did wonder this. When Brock came down the other week and there was no pyro. Oh, yeah, this, this, this like, arm thing was, like, no I was like, farm where the hell's his, I was like, where the hell's his fireworks and stuff? It just, this just looks rubbish now. Yeah. So, no no more pyro. 
And I'm assuming the purple ropes uh, and the fact that you have to change them in between segments is also a cost-cutting measure. Yeah. Talking Smack has been cancelled. Yeah, that sucks. I like Talking Smack. I don't understand. I don't understand. These are all things that are on the WWE Network. I don't... Yeah. I mean... Talking Smack can't be that expensive to make, surely. It's just <laughs> Renee Young sitting behind a desk. Exactly, yeah. Weird. The wrestlers are on a salary, so you're not paying them by the hour. Exactly, yeah. I just hey. don't... I don't know. Are you worried about lighting and cameras and electricity surely not yeah it's That's baffling awesome. very strange very 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 strange but I, I am worried for the future of 205 live going back to that i don't know how much longer it's going to last because it isn't doing well and wwe have only got themselves to blame for this like and the way that they've pushed it very poorly yeah it's I they went know. about it all wrong absolutely it's really, it's really kept how it was with the cruiserway classic that was great people love that but then do what live stars and just make it everyone wrestle like WWE style, which is like we don't want that. We already, we have, we already have that. Give yeah, us something else. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's Give like us, the most exciting hour on television. No, it isn't. No, it's the same as every other hour on television with WWE. Yeah, <laughs> give us new fresh stuff. It was all on Quid Red Classic. Give us that. Yeah, it's the same as main event that none of us watch. <laughs> exactly, Didn't even know yeah. it still existed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, dear. But, I mean, so you know, based on this, you can sort of see why Austin Aries wanted out. Yeah, totally. Oh dear, WWE, you will just continue to fuck things up. Plus, what, why is it Why is it after SmackDown? I don't know. It's, How it's is like... it, if, you, if you're cutting costs, <laughs> why have Corey Grave be part of the SmackDown crew? As, what, I just don't... Because obviously, it's f- filmed after SmackDown. Yeah. But Corey Graves is on Raw, so Corey Graves then has to go wherever SmackDown are. Is that it? Plus got some commentary... New- for 205 Live it's like where's the sense in that yeah let's provide some new guy to do commentary on 205 Live as well um, just some new guy in Corey Graves it's like what, what do you already have like 27 announcers what are you, <laughs> why are you hiring new people I haven't watched 205 Live in weeks I yeah. might after we've recorded this when, I, when I'm uh, trying to drift off and need something to send me to sleep I might watch that yeah there's a good match on there easily um, there's like a I quit match fairly recently which is pretty cool yeah it's uh, pretty cool but you know it's it's getting people to watch it yeah exactly it's getting people to care enough about the wrestlers to watch it. Yeah. Shitty love stories do not make people want to watch wrestling. Yeah. That's not what people watch wrestling for. <laughs> I people think watch re- wrestling for wrestling. Exactly. I think they realise it now because they've just had um, no, no break up with Alicia Fox. Fox. <laughs> so yeah, that's a whole maybe, thing. Maybe they should have them start winning matches now. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh dear. Where, anyway. Where's Jack Gallagher as well? Uh, I think he's still, he's still just up to a vibe life. He's in, he's in a few with Brian Kendrick at the minute, I think. Sure. I mean, maybe I should watch 205 Live, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> anyway, battle round. Uh, so next battle, got, <laughs> next battle I've got on here is uh, Breezango versus Mystery Tag Team. Um, who have we got and who do you think it's going to be? Um, I think it's going to be the Headbangers. <laughs> well, you never know. And I think the Headbangers will win. <laughs> um, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I mean, also, you know, logic would suggest that Mystery Team wins. Really? Unless it's some sort of joke. Mm. And then Breezango win. Yeah. Okay, I mean, you we- bring a Mystery Team in to just to destroy the team that's already there, right? If you're going to bring new people in, new people have to win. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Um, I'm going to go with Breezango just because Breezango's got a lot of momentum behind him. I think they want to push them. I suppose it's going to be some sort of joke thing. It's probably going to be a chance again, isn't it? <sighs> <laughs> Maybe the maybe it'll be the Ascensions team from um, Southpaw Regional Wrestling, like the Surfer <laughs> Dudes or whatever it was. That'd be amazing. I'd love that. <laughs> See, that would be funny. Yeah, it, it would. would be funny. Um, you know what? I wouldn't even put it past them. I'm going to go for that. <laughs> That's yeah. what I go for. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh so the Surfer Dudes, I think that's what they were called, right? Probably something like that. Something, something very generic. The Surfer Dudes versus. The Fashion Police, Bruzango, whatever. Yeah. Cool. Uh, right, next one we got uh, Sami Zayn versus Mike Kanellis in the rematch from SmackDown. Um, I think Mike Kanellis wins again. I think he... And I know I said I don't like to see Sami keep losing, but I think Mike Kanellis has to win. He's new. Hmm. Some of the WWE audience won't be aware of who he actually is. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I think he has to win. Yeah, I agree. I think he has to win. I think we hope they have more of a match this time because SmackDown was just kind of like a Sami Zayn was beat the crap out of most of the match and then Mike just hit one move and one. Um, so yeah, give, give, him, give him more time to shine and uh, I think he'll be good. Yes. I think Mike uh, will be top. I hope so. 
Yeah. I hope it's on the main card as well. Because you, you, if you're going to try and get new talent over, you have to do it on the main show. You yeah. can't do it on the pre-show because, I mean, people like us, we don't watch the pre-show really. No, really. We just catch it afterwards. Yeah. If, even if, if, if we do all. that. Yeah, if it's all. <laughs> yeah. So, and casual fans are probably the same as well. I mean, the diehards, they will watch the pre-show. Other yeah. people in the arena have no fucking choice. <laughs> but, you, you know, mainly it. people don't watch the pre-show. Pretty much. Um, but then, we, then I've got uh, the Fatal Five Way between Charlotte, Becky Lynch, Natalia, Tamina, Resident Lana. The winner is in the Morgan Tendership contender for the women's title at SummerSlam. Um, I think Lana wins. I think Tamina helps her win. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Because um, they're, they're, that's what they've been going with these last few weeks, isn't it? Tamina's been the sort of protector of Lana. Yeah. Uh, the bodyguard type character for Lana. Um and I think Tamina destroys the competition and helps Lana win. Interesting. I can see that. Um, I'm going to predict shenanigans. I think it's going to be no winner or multiple winners simply because I can't see everyone else not doing anything at SummerSlam. Like if if Charlotte, Becky and Sally don't win, what do they do at SummerSlam? <laughs> oh, come on. You, you, know, you know as well as I do that they just throw together some sort of six-woman uh, tag. Uh, yeah, you're right. But that, that, that's a lot of the best women you've got on the back there and what you're doing. I know. But yeah, just to, right. just like, I mean, <laughs> Vince McMahon wants Lana to be the face of that women's division. Yeah. Because she is a, really... a Vince McMahon looking lady. She's very, much. very attractive. Um, she's got great music. I'm going to gonna ride that until the end. <laughs> <laughs> Standing by that music. Um, he wants her to be the face of the women's division. And if he needs Tamina to help her do that, to make her look like some sort of contender, then I'm sort of okay with it. Mm. But you can't do it forever. Yeah, I can see that. Because eventually Lana's going to have to establish herself on her own. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and think, then mm. they, they split the, the two up, Tamina and Lana, and then you have that feud and goes on and on and on and on and on. I mean, Tamina's not a bad wrestler, <laughs> just no one cares about her. And the, Pretty much. They need to give people a reason to care about her. And in my opinion, this is got to be Tamina's last chance because she's been around forever <laughs> she has yeah she came in with the Usos like way way back yeah like heel and manager. she's done nothing exactly yeah literally nothing uh, so that's why I see Tamina getting involved and uh, helping Lana secure the win interesting I'm going to stick with uh, shenanigans and say no one wins just yet nobody wins a fatal five way yeah it's going to be like multiple winners or some some other bullshit happens some like triple pin or something like that yeah something like that okay um yeah, so next, next we've got uh, AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens uh, for the US title. AJ, who won, who won it on the, on the Bleeding House show at Manchester Square Garden. Yes. I mean, this is going to be contender for match of the night. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, if if not match of the night. Yeah, Already. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't... I think maybe... Uh, I think AJ wins. Cool. I don't know why though. I don't know what my logic is behind it. My, my th- I was originally going to say Kevin Owens because then they could keep this feud going and have a re rematch at SummerSlam, mm. and that could be like like the last of it. But I don't know. I I, <laughs> I don't know. This is, uh, I really don't know um, because because I don't know. But I'm going for <laughs> AJ Styles because I don't see them bouncing the title around. Yeah, uh, I mean, I know we always say that. <laughs> it always happens I anyway. Think they would have surely have learned from the mistakes in the past with that, and because it doesn't seem to be happening as much now. Yeah, yeah. But the uh, thing is, I don't know what happens. I don't know what Kevin Owens does because I've yes. I'm gonna have um, Jinder to win the main event, so that's a heel. Good point. Then we need a face to fight him at SummerSlam. Hmm. Uh, unless, well, unless Randy Orton wins the main event and then Kevin Owens can go after Randy Orton. But, <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it's, it's a weird one. Book, booking is hard. Uh, <laughs> Randy Orton and Jinder are going to feud forever. It feels like it, doesn't it? Because, because <laughs> the mid-card is so packed with everybody, I don't see who goes for the world title. That's the thing. Yeah. Because I don't want Randy Orton to win the world title, but then what happens to Randy Orton if he doesn't win the world title? But I don't, I, I don't mind Jinder winning, but then who fights Jinder? Yeah, exactly. Very odd. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for AJ as well. Uh, just because, as you said, I can't see him keep bouncing around the title. 
Um, and AJ is really, really good. And I think <laughs> I think AJ is going to... I think uh, AJ versus Shinsuke Nakamura is going to be the SummerSlam match. IMO. Oh, okay. Well, for the... Um... For the uni- for the United States Championship, yeah, yeah, okay. they've, they've been doing that for a while now, um, so I think that's gonna happen. The SummerSlam is a, is a big event of the summer, so and I'd really like to see it. So yeah, <laughs> see, I'm going. I don't think they're gonna go with that. Really? Yeah, I think uh, I think you see Cena versus AJ again in a in a mm. SummerSlam rematch from last year's SummerSlam. Maybe, maybe, but maybe Cena can go after uh, Jinder. Um, maybe Cena the- could go after Jinder. Yeah, keep forgetting Cena. Mm. Seen this like the wild card in all this. He is, but he's a free agent, remember? So if he even if he loses to Rusev, he'll just piss off to Raw and do something else. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. When uh, the he'll, he'll enter himself into the uh, the Raw main event at SummerSlam. Yeah, just, just because I can. I can. I'm Cena. Just, it's, like, it's now a five way match, and Cena wins. <laughs> yeah, lol. Cena wins. Yeah, lol. <laughs> Cena wins. Pins everybody at the same time. <laughs> yeah, all part on top of each other. <laughs> he pins all your favorites. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the next year's WrestleMania main event is Roman Reigns versus John Cena. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> <No>, I can't. <laughs> I want to imagine it because the internet will melt down. It will explode, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the internet will cry actual tears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. It'll be like the balloons on like your birthday on Twitter. It'll just be tears coming down everybody's Twitter feed page. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, so, we uh, have... Yeah, so AJ Styles. Yeah, okay. yeah, AJ Styles. Okay, cool. <laughs> next, next match we have uh, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin. Uh, well, you see, this is an interesting one. Yeah. Because it just means nothing. They're just fighting for the sake of fighting each other. Pretty much. Baron Corbin keeps beating up Nakamura for no, no real reason. Just because he doesn't like him very much, I guess. Sure. Yeah. I mean, Baron Corbin's got the briefcase. So he he's, his future is set regardless of what happens in this match. Pretty much. So with it win or lose, it doesn't really matter for Baron Corbin. Mm-hmm. So I'm going for lose. Nakamura wins because Nakamura needs the wins. Uh, yes, I agree. I think Nakamura's going to win uh, because it's Nakamura. And you want to make him look strong and push him up that card. And stuff. Unless Nakamura goes for the world championship. That's also true. That's also a possibility, yeah. And mm-hmm. then Baron Corbin takes it from Nakamura, which I'll be fucking fuming about. And yeah, that'd be a good thing because he'll... Um, yeah, hmm, interesting. That could absolutely happen. It could absolutely happen. But because we've said it, it won't happen. It won't happen, yeah. <laughs> but that could happen. I mean, logic points to that. Yeah, absolutely. Because these two are feuding now. Jinder will beat Randy Orton. I know two ways about that. Yeah, probably. I can't um, see Randy winning again. No, I can't either. Because, you know, because Jinder's Indian, he invented the Punjabi prison. Like exactly, everyone yeah. else who's Indian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but this match, yeah, I think... Uh, I think Nakamura will win. Yeah, me too. I think I think it'll be a good match. Yeah. But I think he'll win and Baron Corbin will sort of roll out of the ring with the briefcase and be like, I've still got the briefcase, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so we've got uh, the Usos versus the New Day. Jesus, this is a this is a big card. It is actually, yeah. Quite, quite it's big much one. bigger than whatever the last one was. Yeah. Money in the Bank. What was the last one? Was it Money in the Bank? It wasn't, was it? Uh, Great Balls of Wire. Oh, of course. Well, how can I forget? Yeah. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who's <laughs> his best new day for these tag team titles? Who have we got and why? Mm, uh, I think New Day. New Day? Okay, thank The Usos have had it for a while. People, to be honest, I think people are starting to get on side with the Usos again. Yeah. They're and starting the, to pick, pick up a bit of heel heat and a little bit of face heat as well. Yeah, they, they're good wrestlers. And I think people forgot, forgot that for a while because they're just doing like, the same old face stuff over and over again yeah. but now they've turned heel they said oh they've got new characters and they can wrestle it's good stuff yeah what a, what, a strange, <laughs> what a strange conundrum yeah um I think New Day will win it because simply because um what do they do otherwise <laughs> good point point. and that's the thing with the New Day now it's it sort of ran its course uh you know we were talking about this for a while I think like why, what? Where does the new day go now? They freshened it up by going over to SmackDown, mm-hmm. uh, and that's fine. The Usos have been great in this feud as well, by the way. Like that rap battle stuff was much cooler than it should have been. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I think New Day wins, and I think they have like the rubber match at SummerSlam. Cool. Maybe it's too easy. Maybe sort of um, the New Day do win. Usos have their rematch fairly quickly. 
but then they have some sort of special match at SummerSlam, some sort of tag team turmoil or something like that. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I want to go with the Usos. Um, I think they can drag this out for one more, one more match, probably at SummerSlam. Uh, most of sort of gimmick match, maybe like a ladder match or cage match or something. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I think you get more from this feud. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, not, I, I, I mean, I'm fine with that. I am fine with it. Um, I see. I was under the see. I was the other way there. I, I didn't think they could get more legs out of this. Yeah. But maybe you know, maybe they can. Maybe they can. Yeah, we'll see. I think Uto's uh, also to be different as well because we had very similar <laughs> beliefs and so far. Uh, yeah. And then we've got <laughs> uh, John Cena versus Rusev in a flag match, whatever that is. Um. <laughs> so I think the rules of a flag match is you have to do you have to get to your own corner and get your own flag. I think so. So Cena will be standing in front of the Bulgarian flag. Yeah, and vice versa. And vice versa. And then the you, you climb up to the turnbuckle, grab your flag of choice, and then you win, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. So Cena wins, I guess. Lol. Yeah, because America. Because America. Yeah. Because, that's, <laughs> because America. No <laughs> other reason. Just because of that. Pretty much. Um, I mean, I really want to see Rusev win just because he's been gone a while and he needs a, he needs a big win. To be honest, I think Rusev has heat. Um, hmm, maybe. I think I really think Rusev is sort of maybe because he's quite outspoken. He so is. It wouldn't surprise me if there's some sort of backstage heat there or something. So, like, hey, Cena's coming back. He needs an opponent. It's going to be you. You're going to lose. Yeah. In the future, shut your mouth. There you go. Basically. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Keep it buttoned in future, Rusev. <laughs> um, so that's that's what I'm I, th- I think Cena wins I mean I can't you can't imagine he comes back and loses not his first big pay-per-view match no a lot of Cena wins yeah I want to say the same thing uh, because Cena and because America and I, and I hate that I really hate that I do uh, why, I mean they should have stuck with the original plan of Rusev comes back at Money in the Bank only if he gets a title shot but they just left it and it was never spoke of again exactly yeah strange uh, so yeah, the last match we have the main event, of course, is Jinder Mahal versus Randy Orton in a Punjabi prison match, which I had to explain the rules on SmackDown during some long segment because no one knows how to win that match. <laughs> you have to get out. You have to escape, don't you? Uh, yeah. So you, you go to the door and ask the door to be open, but it only stays open for like ten minutes or something, and then it's closed and closed and never opens again. Um, is, is there two levels to it? Yeah, you have to go out, get out the front, the first door, and then there's, you have to climb over the second bit. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. <laughs> I love it's that it's o- made of bamboo. <laughs> yeah, so weird. Uh, what materials do they use to build structures with in India? Uh, bamboo? Yeah. That's exactly it. That is exactly correct. Yeah, bamboo. sure. Yeah, they don't have bricks or anything like that in India. Just fucking bamboo. <laughs> That's what their prisons are made out of. It's like they've been watching Indiana Jones and they've seen damsels in distress locked in fucking bamboo cages. <laughs> and they've been like... That's exactly what happens in real life. Yeah. Let's make that and the wrestlers have to escape it. We are geniuses. That's exactly what it is. I have no two ways about it. They've been watching 80s action adventure movies where the bad guy locks the woman up in a bamboo cage. (laughs) And that's why the Punjabi prison is made out of bamboo. Yeah, sure. (laughs) I'll go with that. I'm inspired. This This is Vincent Wayne talking about. (laughs) Um, So yeah, I'm going to say Jinder. We've already mentioned why. Um, pretty much. Really can't see Randy winning yet again. Well, no, I can't either because, I mean, that means they ha- they have to have a rematch and I don't want to see Jinder versus Randy Orton for the, this will be the fourth time, will it? Yeah, yeah. Too many times. I have no interest in seeing seeing it for a fourth time. I barely have interest in seeing it for a third time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if it makes Jinder look credible as champion, then fine, I guess. But then he has to have a new contender and I'm hoping it'll be Nakamura. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome actually. I'll do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's our predictions. Um, yeah. Battleground. Ur. Battleground. This Battle Sunday Ground. on the WWE Network. But more yes. importantly, you can catch Finn Steele mm. playing WWE 2K17 and giving his Battleground predictions yep, and yep. chatting about it on youtube.com forward slash daydreamer gaming from 8 or 9. We'll see. Yeah. Give it on Twitter and uh, stuff. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool stuff. Cool. So, Finn. <laughs> yeah, I'll just realize I've forgotten it yet again. I keep like forgetting it every week. This God is what's going to happen now. So, you're going to go and get the book. Okay. And I'm going to oh. sit here and run you down again. Okay, go for it. 
how does this keep happening? Like week after week, the guy just keeps forgetting the book. What's going to have to happen now is I'm going to have to to text him before to remember the segments of the podcast because this is the third week running where he, he's had to leave me high and dry for the best part of a minute. I'll have to hang it up on my own head, headphone cables. But I'm, I'm back. I've got it. Oh, God. I so, break. Finn. Hello. Right. The Games of Graphs podcast is brought to you by the letter... X. X. You're dealing with the X factor. Nice. Nice bit of Uncle Crack Sniffer. <laughs> <laughs> that was his name, right? Um, sure. Yeah. Uh, that should have been his name. It should have. X. Uncle, Uncle Crack Sniffer, Uncle S- Crack Smoker. <laughs> um, oh, there you are, X-Factor. Members, x pack Albert, and just incredible. What a stable. Clearly the greatest stable of all time. Yeah, clearly the, the great, most annoying entrance music of all time. By, by annoying, you mean the greatest, obviously. Of course, yeah. <laughs> There's a whopping uh, three uh, entries in X. Two of them have X back in it. <laughs> and the other um, is Xavier Woods? Um, no, he was. this is, this book was made pre-Xavier Woods. Oh. Um, but this one I can read out, which I think don't think we've had yet. It says Xanted Laws with an X. Oh, yes. crying out loud. <laughs> okay, uh, hit me with Xanted Claws. Height, six foot two. Weight, 305 pounds. From the South Pole. Ooh. Of course, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Signature move was the Nutcracker Suite. Hmm. Uh-huh. Nice. During the December 17th, 1995 In Your House pay-per-view, it appeared that Santa, Santa Claus was giving gifts to young fans around the ring with the help of Savio Vega. <laughs> the million... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, then appeared and this par- this part disparaged. He beat up both Santa and his helper. Just as his, as his verbal exchange with Vega ended, the million dollar man's twisted sense of holiday gift giving presented itself. Suddenly, Santa attacked Savio Vega and visibly beat him in front of the capacity crowd. Thanks to, <laughs> yeah. Thanks to Tim Jim Ross, audience, audience, bleh, audiences soon learned that this individual claimed to be the twin brother of Santa Claus mm-hmm. and it went by the name Santa Claus yeah, with an okay. X. Yeah. Because extreme. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he hailed <sighs> he hailed from the South Pole, uh stole presents and from good children and used underhanded maneuvers to put away opponents. While Santa Claus had a brief tenure in WWE history, his despicable actions during his television debut made a lasting impression. Yeah. Yes, clearly. Oh, because <laughs> wrestling, that's why. Because wrestling. Especially because... uh the late eighties, early nineties wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> God almighty, Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good stuff. Goes back and watches In Your House Christmas 1995. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Guys, this has been episode 67 of the Games and Grats podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every... Where? Wait, I've got that wrong, haven't I? I don't know, have you? I have got it wrong. <laughs> it's it's a, like the first time in ages I've got it wrong. Oh, snap. <laughs> this is episode 67 of the Games of Graps podcast. Great. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming. Yeah. And youtube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play. Yeah. Go follow us on Twitter at Game and Graps. Or Game and Graps. Yeah, I did this go we, all, yeah, this no, time, all this all this time we thought it was games and grabs. And that, yeah. <laughs> I, think not. I, I think at some point you must have entered some sort of alternate universe where we're gaming grabs and not gaming grabs. I don't know when that changed. Yeah, strange. Very strange. Either way, go follow us on Twitter. You'll find us just type in games and grabs. It will come up at some point. Yeah, we'll, we'll um, find it. <laughs> go listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts. Go subscribe to all of our channels on YouTube. But for now, I'm Sunny. I'm Finn. And we'll speak to you next week right here on the Games and Grass podcast. Thank you yeah. very much for listening, guys. Take care. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Divas. Divas.